fixed versus growth mindset. What is it? Why is it important, especially if you've got ADHD? Hey there, I'm Misty Rapport, a brain engineer, and I help ADHD entrepreneurs optimize the brain so running their business is a whole lot easier. Now, what is growth mindset and why is it important? Well, let's backtrack a bit. Carol Dweck, a psychologist in Stanford University, wanted to know what makes a person successful. So she did research and research and research. And what she discovered was it has nothing to do with IQ. It has nothing to do with talents. It has nothing to do with where you come from. What it has to do is, what it has to do with is whether you have a fixed or a growth mindset. Okay. So what is it? A fixed mindset believes the way they are is the way they are going to stay forever. Okay, so if you tell yourself, I can't sing, and anytime someone tells you, like, oh, sing me song, you're like, nah, I don't know how to sing, you've got a fixed mindset about singing. Growth mindset is always learning, always growing. They know that there's always room for improvement. They focus a lot on the process instead of just the outcome. They accept feedback because they're learning to grow. They're not afraid of failure because they know it is part of the process. And they're just always, always looking to grow and learn more about it. So if you think of anything that you are good at, anything right now, just like think of something that you're good at, even put it maybe in the comments below. What is something that you can say you are good at? The only reason why you got good at it was because you had a growth mindset about it. You could have had a talent to be like an amazing artist. But if you thought that you were a good artist, then like you just like never developed that skill enough. And like you just... Like you just don't do art today because you're just not good at it. So we all got both a fixed and a growth mindset. All of us, anything that you are not good at is probably because it was often, I shouldn't say like it is, it has to be because of fixed mindset. Because sometimes you just are choosing consciously not to focus on it. But anything like you're like, no, I'm just bad at this. Then it's a fixed mindset. And anything that you are good at, it became because of a growth mindset. Now, here's the thing. People with ADHD often struggle with this because of either a lot of the negative comments that they've gotten as a child. As we know, people with ADHD get a lot more negative comments than other people Um, and or into the stories that they tell themselves. So because people with ADHD due to a cognitive functions often like struggle to finish tasks or procrastinate a lot and they end up telling themselves stories or maybe when they were a kid other people called them labels and told them they're lazy or things that are that like that and then you end up telling it to yourself then what ends up happening is very very often people with ADHD tend to have a fixed mindset about different things because they've been in this like cycle where it's just like I'm not good enough I can't ever finish things it never works out the way I plan it to work out I never I'm never on time things like that and you literally creating this loop of just like going down a fixed mindset drain literally now here's the thing you want to be able to work with your brain understand where you are right now and challenge your brain more. So you're working with your brain and you're challenging your brain, okay? So you want to understand what are your weaknesses right now as someone with ADHD, but understand it doesn't have to stay like that forever. This is super important, super important super important. People with ADHD often go to get a diagnosis and then they're told like, you'll never be in time. You'll have a really hard time focusing unless you take meds. And they like give like all these lists of things that they're just not going to be able to do. And they accept it as fact. Guess what? It is fact for right now. It is fact for where you are today, this minute, while you are watching this video. But in five seconds, It can start changing as soon as you switch it from a fixed to a growth mindset. So it is true that as someone with ADHD, you probably struggle with impulsivity right now. But guess what? It doesn't have to stay like that forever. You can understand that right now I struggle with impulsivity and I can work on it even though I have ADHD. This is really important. I can work on it because impulsivity is a skill. And I can learn it. It may be more challenging for me compared to other people to learn impulsivity. It might take me longer than some other people to learn impulsivity. 
but you can because it is a skill. Same for understanding time. Same for procrastinating. Same for finishing tasks. Same for getting distracted. Whatever your challenges are, you can have a growth mindset about it and start working on it. If you, until now, have not start working on it, it was because you had a fixed mindset about it. Now, like I said, it could be it's not your fault because people have been calling you all these things and been telling you all these different things of what you can or cannot do. But by you listening to their stories, you are now giving the power to them and you are accepting the lid that they are putting on you. I am here to tell you from seeing from experience over and over and over again, All the things that you are saying you can't do, you can actually learn as soon as you start switching it to a growth mindset, okay? It's like from the bottom of my heart, like I am super passionate about it because I want you to know that you can actually change it. So the first thing you want to do or the biggest thing you want to do is you want to watch the words you are using. Often I hear like ADHD experts talk about themselves like I'm time blind so I just won't know when I'll be able to finish it. Darling, by saying I'm time blind, you are labeling yourself with the fact that you will never be able to learn time you can say something instead don't lie to yourself and say oh time is amazing and I always have time and things like that because that's just a lie and your brain is just going to reject that but if you say I'm struggling with time or I'm learning how to get better with time is a better one right because I'm struggling is also like keeping you down there but I am learning how to get better with time so what do you think do you think we'll be able to finish this in this time slot or not Right. Instead of saying, I'm time blind, you tell me whether we can finish this or not versus I'm learning how to get better at time. All of a sudden, your brain is starting to pick up different things. And then instead of just giving over the power and saying you're just time blind, your brain will actually start picking up things that will help you improve your time blindness. Or if you do like you impulsivity, you like your impulsivity comes out and you like lash out at someone, right? So some people with ADHD are just like, maybe they will apologize and they feel bad about it. Most definitely like the feeling bad and the shame and the guilt that comes with ADHD is really, really high. But often afterwards, it's like, there's just nothing I can do about it because I'm just ADHD and I just like, <sighs> I just always impulse and I just always say things that I shouldn't be saying and things like that, right? And instead it's like, no, I can use this opportunity to learn to become less impulsive. And I am learning every day to become a little bit more less impulsive, things like that, okay? Or instead of saying, I never finish tasks, I am learning to finish tasks. I'm trying to finish tasks. One of my favorite um, words to add is to add the word yet. So if you say, let's say, um, I can never be on time, instead of saying, I can never be on time yet automatically your brain is now going into a growth mindset mode and is finding ways for you to be able to get there because you said yeah okay so watch the language that you are using and then whatever the thing that you are working on and that you do want to get better at start learning about it because guess what like I said it's a skill you can learn it true there's some of the things that you might learn about might not be for your brain and you might need to learn it a different way you might need to learn it another way and you might get, need to get feedback from other people and there's going to be a lot of trial and error but that is part of having that growth mindset actually I have a whole playlist on growth mindset so you can check them out that out if you want to learn more about growth mindset and don't forget to subscribe because there are awesome videos coming your way. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video.